Okay, so this is gonna be attempt three for this video. Um, the first two attempts, I tried using my uh, Hero 7 audio, which is why I rebuilt my helmet in the first place. And I'm getting feedback, it sounds terrible. I'll put a little bit of a sample in here and what I'm getting so you guys can give me some feedback and maybe some advice on how to fix that. For those that have successfully um, spliced their Cena microphone with their Hero 7. Um, but I got the Hero 4 back on and we're gonna go up and talk about it and see you up in the air. Okay, so quick update. I don't know how much or if anything even got recorded on my GoPro, on my head. So I'll explain what happened. I'm, I'm back to the Hero 4, first of all, because I couldn't get my audio for the Hero 7 to work yet. I soldered in, I spliced in the wire to the helmet, but it's not, not working great, so I'm on the Hero 4. When I went to launch, I don't know if my GoPro got any of this. It was a horrible launch. I got the wing up and one of my brake lines got caught in my camera and I couldn't unlodge it. So I, I had to put the wing back down and then I had a, I have a chase cam on. So maybe the chase cam got some of it. And it got tangled in the lines. It's just a pain in the ass. Then I get in the air and one of my pull cords from my manual pull cords for my flotation was got lodged in my wing during that whole de like debacle. And so it was pulling on it, and I was freaking out that it was going to pull the flotation. It's just a, a, a bad launch. I should have put the wing down and just reset up. I don't know why I did But I got a bad, like, not happy with the way the flight is going right now, so I'm just taking it easy. Oh, yeah, and then you just saw my GoPro was froze. So I had, took it apart in the air and fixed it, which wasn't a big deal because I was really high. But anyway, um, we're out here. We're flying. It's... It's a good morning. Wind's coming right off the water. Oh yeah, and also I dropped my Red Bull in the sand. It should be nice and sandy. Yeah, and the whole beach is gone where I usually fly. This is usually all beach. But it's high tide and the hurricane must have washed this out. I've never seen it this bad before. I usually like to fly low right here, but there's no way off of this uh, sandbar if you go down on it. So the whole beach is gone, man. There's like nothing. It was a bummer, big bummer. So, yeah, story with the helmet. This is the third time I'm recording this video uh, because the audio is just too bad on the first two. I, I couldn't post it. I didn't want to do like a voiceover. I took the helmet apart uh, and spliced in the 3.5 millimeter audio jack into the Cena mic wire so I could plug it into the uh, GoPro audio adapter. And it's not working, I'm getting a lot of feedback. microphone and then you splice in a 3.5 millimeter jack wire and that goes into your GoPro adapter so it's not too difficult to do because you're really careful the wires inside of the so I think it's a bad ground I don't know I'm just not not happy with it I'm not as happy as the audio for the Hero 4 I'm, this is the best audio I've been able to find so um, yeah, if anyone's done this, I know Dustin Blanchard, he's a, a YouTuber, if you guys don't follow him, his channel's below, he does some awesome work. I followed his video on how he did his audio, basically I followed his video step by step, and mine's not working as good as his, so it kind of leads me to believe it's my fault. 
I don't, like I said, I think it's the ground, but whatever. I also added the, uh, went back to the 24 decibel tell source because I added earbuds, which the earbuds are awesome. They beat the hell out of the Cena speakers. But what I wish I would have known before I did it, though, was that they sell an adapter they can just plug a pair of headphones into for this uh, Cena, the SMH-10R. I didn't know that before I did it, so I just <laughs> um, cut the wires and soldered them. So, but they work great. Uh, and then I went to the Aviation Gel Ear Cups, which are awesome. You have to modify those a little bit, too, to get them to fit, but it all worked out. And then I hid all the wires underneath the cat, so I hollowed out the the spaces that I needed under the in the foam of the helmet, and uh, shoved it in there, got the GoPro adapter in there. It looks really clean, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so... Oh, that was good. I usually don't drink energy drinks or Red Bull or anything like that. But I'm just not getting much sleep lately, so I want my wits about me when I'm flying. Um, all right, so, yeah, that's, that's what I did to the helmet. If you guys got any suggestions, leave it down below. I'll overlay some of the audio so you can hear what it's like, what kind of feedback I'm getting. But, yeah, it's just... It's a bummer. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you back up in a little bit.